Today we are going to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. The ginger snap cookies. The babka is unbelievable. Trader Joe's maintained its smaller selection largely constant over the past year, while other larger grocery businesses increased prices and still made sizable profits. Trader Joe's grocery store network had a gross average revenue per square foot of roughly $2,130 in 2020, which was nearly twice as much as its rivals. Today, we are going to discuss the success of Trader Joe. When compared to other grocery stores, Trader Joe's prices have remained largely stable. For instance, the cost of bananas at the store has remained constant for about 25 years at only 19 per banana. According to the Wall Street Journal, Trader Joe's consistently ranks as the grocery shop with the greatest customer satisfaction ratings despite having smaller stores and less products to offer than its rivals. By keeping its pricing low and its inventory appealing to shoppers, the grocery store has built a loyal following of customers. In the 42 states and the District of Columbia since its establishment in 1958, Trader Joe's has opened 561 locations. $13 billion is the company's yearly revenue. Trader Joe's sells primarily its own private label goods, unlike other well-known companies. The chain is well-renowned for selling uncommon products, frequently foods that are sold outside of the American market. Customers at Trader Joe's love returning to see what's new since the store sells goods that are unusual for the average shopper. The grocery chain has built up a devoted following of customers over time. These clients value the store's distinctive goods and affordable costs. The limited selection at Trader Joe's can also be viewed more favorably than negatively. Customers may shop more quickly and effectively by keeping the number of available products low. A Trader Joe customer has a limited number of bread brands to choose from rather than hundreds of options. Another significant draw for the business is its consistent price reductions. By avoiding the middleman and dealing directly with suppliers, it is able to maintain low rates. The store has more negotiating power with the supplier because Trader Joe's routinely purchases items in bulk and typically pays for foreign purchases with local currency, according to the Wall Street Journal. The company's loyal customer base also allows them to cut back on advertising costs. While the grocery shop doesn't do much promotion on its own, its followers frequently advertise the things they come across on social media. Additionally, the business keeps merchandise moving on the shelves. When a product isn't doing well, it's simply taken out of the store. To check out what's fresh and intriguing on the shelves, they keep returning. With its affordable rates and top-notch goods, Trader Joe's has grown to be a favorite among customers since it was established in California in 1967. It is also renowned for its laid-back atmosphere, but don't be fooled by the store's cozy appearances. Trader Joe's boasts one of the greatest sales per square foot in the sector. Success never happens by chance or by pure good fortune. Consider these 12 factors if you want to understand why Trader Joe's has attracted such a devoted customer base and correspondingly strong sales. 1. Low Prices One of the secrets to Trader Joe's success is not a mystery. Unlike McDonald's secret recipe, by charging between $2 and $4 for things like wine, peanut butter and hummus, Trader Joe's draws in customers seeking for a deal. Additionally, a banana costs just 9 cents at Trader Joe's. On its website, Trader Joe's states, We recognize that keeping our daily focus on value is essential, which is why we don't have sales, we don't provide coupons, and there are no loyalty programs or membership cards to swipe at our stores. Every client should have daily access to the best items at the best rates, according to Trader Joe's. 2. A fun and friendly atmosphere You wouldn't realize a Trader Joe's store is part of a grocery company that produced $16.5 billion in sales in 2020 if you walked into one without knowing it was one. Trader Joe's resembles your local supermarket in atmosphere. Its shops are cute, lively and small. Although the design features in its stores are not the most expensive, they are welcoming and entice visitors to enter and remain for a while. Trader Joe's also demonstrates that you do not need the most expensive or exquisitely built store to draw in most people. Walmart and Dollar General can both vouch for this tactic. 3. Details that matter What distinguishes a retailer? The sum of all the little things it does along the route makes what a wonderful customer experience is. Store signage is only one example of this attention to detail at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's interior signs frequently feature humorous handwriting like the one below. An amusing mind and touch like this can encourage a consumer to spend more and return the following time in pursuit of a shopping experience that just feels better than others. 4. Excellent customer service Like other businesses noted for their superior customer service, Trader Joe's staff are given the freedom to take whatever steps necessary to keep their clients satisfied. 5. Best-in-class private branded products Trader Joe's founder, Joe Columb, referred to the introduction of the retailer's first private label item, a brand of granola, as a game-changer in 1972. 
Today, about 80% of Trader Joe's items are private label, enabling the company to set prices lower than those of national brands because it bypasses the intermediary and deals directly with suppliers. Customers must visit Trader Joe's to purchase several of its private label products, such as dark chocolate peanut butter cups, triple ginger snaps, and mandarin orange chicken, which increases foot traffic and sales for the company. 6. Only the best products Trader Joe's only has roughly 4,000 SKUs, as opposed to stores with tens of thousands of them. This implies that Trader Joe's is compelled to sell only the best products. Given the small quantity of shelf space, there isn't much room for product faults. Due to Trader Joe's limited inventory, customers can be more confident that new products they find will be high quality. You need not apply if your products are of poor quality. 7. Products with limited availability Additionally, Trader Joe's offers a variety of limited time trial products that entice customers who do not want to miss out. This is a strategy that many businesses employ to keep customers interested in what will be released next and entice them to frequent their establishments. 8. Managed Growth Trader Joe's size and popularity allow it to establish stores more quickly, but instead of doing so, it has decided to avoid the problem that has previously plagued businesses like Starbucks, growing too quickly to the point that it cannibalizes its own success. The CEO of Trader Joe's, Dane Bain, states, We won't create a shop simply because we can. We want to open a store that's run by the right type of people doing the right kind of things, and that's incredibly important to us. 9. Trader Joe's makes it a priority to hire nice people. Brian Powbaum, President and Chief Operating Officer of Trader Joe's, commented on this by saying that the company specifically looks for candidates who have outwardly nice personalities because it is difficult to train someone to be nice. John Shields, a former CEO of Trader Joe's, said he wouldn't select a candidate if they didn't grin within the first 30 seconds of the interview. A great work environment is created by Trader Joe's thanks to the nice and helpful people the company hires. 10. Word of Mouth Marketing Trader Joe's has distinguished itself from its rivals by putting an emphasis on a word of mouth rather than conventional advertising. Did you sample a scrumptious delicacy the last time you visited Trader Joe's? If so, you are not the only one. According to Tara Miller, Vice President of Marketing at Trader Joe's, a lot of people might not know that the biggest marketing expense we have at Trader Joe's is actually just letting people try our food. 11. Trader Joe's pays its employees well. Part-time crew members may earn up to $24 an hour, about twice the average minimum wage in the country. Captains earn about $100,000 annually. The now deceased founder of Trader Joe's, Joe Columb, once stated, the fundamental difference between Trader Joe's and all other retailers is the income level of employees. According to Joseph Columb, who was speaking about his father, he liked and believed in his staff and he wanted to keep them. Paying them generously was the only way to accomplish it. If you want to build a successful business like Trader Joe's, you can consider some of these ideas. That's all about today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also click the notification bell to get informed by all of our upcoming videos.